Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tess Lark, and today we're gonna to be crafting. I'm super excited. I think this is a really cute project. I'm gonna show you how to make these cute resin pendants using some insects. So I was actually gifted a beetle from one of my internet friends who is this really fascinating, lovely lady who works with bugs, raises them, models with them. Her name is Hexapoda on Instagram. If you are interested in her work, she's really cool. So she sent me some butterfly wings and some beetles and I made some of the butterfly wings into jewelry jewelry already, but I wanted to play around with this little beetle. He's really flat, so I thought it would be perfect for this project. But I'm also going to just be showing you how to make these simple little fern in resin pendant necklaces as well. With the holiday seasons coming up, this could be a really nice, really easy gift idea for a friend or a family member. I also do sell all of these on my Etsy shop, which you can find at fragilebeings.com, and I will link my shop below. I will also link all of the the materials that I'm using in the description. If you're curious about that, all that information will be there. And let's get crafting because I'm really excited and I hope you are too. For today's project, you're gonna need some sort of bezel or pendant. And I just went ahead and painted the back of this. You also need some sort of pressed flowers. I'm using baby's breath. Also got some ferns here. And then I've got this cute little beetle that was gifted to me, like I said before. So we'll be using that as well. You also need a popsicle stick, some glue, um, a toothpick or a wire, and a small measuring cup. I'm also using the Art and Glow Casting and Coating Epoxy Resin, which I will link below. It's always really important to use gloves while you're working with resin as well because you don't want to get it on your skin. And I also have some wax paper just to protect the surfaces that I'm working on. dry out my ferns and my flowers. I'm just using my microfluor, which is a really convenient flower press that you throw into the microwave and it dries out your flowers just within a couple minutes. to be placed inside of the necklace and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the glue and put it right on the spine of that sp of the fern and use that to connect that down into the necklace
cutting the beetle out of the bag just because I didn't want to damage him in, in any way. He was packed in there a little bit tight. And then since I had a couple extra ferns, I thought it would be nice just to make a couple more necklaces. to mark off exactly where I'm going to be pouring the resin because it does get a little bit hard to see. I decided to go ahead and put my pieces on a plate so that I could move it off of my desk easily after I had poured the resin and just put them someplace that's a little bit more out of the way. I also made some crutches for the bottom just to make sure that each piece was laying really flat because the resin is liquid so it will run out of your, of your container if you let it. So I let the pendant set up overnight and I really think they came out super cute. So here's the beetle. And then we have our two little ferns. How sweet are those? So the next step is just gonna be to put these on chains. For the next part of this project, we're gonna need our little bezels, some lobster clasps, some different size jump rings. We'll also need chain, and then I've got my pliers, needle nose pliers, and some wire cutters. So for this step, you'll also need some measuring tape, or you can just kind of eyeball with the chain how long you want the pendants to sit. These are bigger pieces, so I like them to be a little bit lower. I'm thinking probably like maybe 24 inches about here and yeah that looks good to me. I'll just take a length of my chain and use my measuring tape to measure out 24 inches. And I'll give that a little cut and then while I'm at it I'm just going to measure the chain for the other two necklaces as well. So then I'm just going to take one of my smaller jump rings and I will open it using my two pairs of pliers here. Just open that. I'm going to attach the lobster clasp onto that jump ring, just like that. And then the clasp gets attached to one side of the chain. 
and using the pliers we'll just close that jump ring make sure it's laying nice and flat and then the other side of the chain is just going to go through this little hole here in the top of the bezel like so and then we'll open up another one of these small jump rings i'm going to attach this large jump ring to this one and then attach that to the other side of the chain and there we go. Pretty cute. <laughs> and then I'll just repeat the process for these other two necklaces. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you go out today and make something of your own. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a like. It really helps me out, it helps my page out, and it also lets me know what you guys like to see from me so that I can keep putting more of that content out. I'm thinking next week I wanna do like a Halloween inspired makeup look. So if you're interested in that, that video will be next. And if you want more arts and crafts, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.